Hello Booktube. This is a bookshelf tour, the fourth big wall bookcase, um, the fourth shelf, and the seventh part. So it's the next to last part. And we'll continue on our theme with ancient history, literature, and mythology. This first volume is a two volume set, published in one volume, um, The Greek Way and the Roman Way, two volumes in one, Edith Hamilton. Bon, uh, Bonanza Books, New York, and this was uh, 1986, so uh, both volumes I enjoy, and um, I've owned them separately in the past, and uh, I actually like having them both in one. So it's a discussion of the uh, Greek culture and literature and then ancient Rome culture and literature. So, uh, great literature, past or present, is the expression of great knowledge of the human heart. So states Edith Hamilton, famed classicist and author of the best-selling mythology, and her opening to this two-volume collection of the Greek way, the Roman way. More than 2,500 years ago, these two great civilizations flourished, one in the ancient Athens of Plato, Sophocles, and Euripides, the other at the Rome of Cicero, Horace, and Virgil. From these great masters came thoughts, impressions, and observations, that which was uniquely Greek and Roman, and also that has proven to be an enduring legacy for mankind. With selections from the above writers, poets, and dramatists, and with lucid insights and uh, commentary by Edith Hamilton, we are shown a picture of two magnificent civilizations that eclipse all that had come before and, mold and molded all that has come after. So, pretty nice volume to have. This next one, uh, the mute... This, Beat up old copy. The Mute Stone Speak, second edition, a Norton book. Uh, the story of archaeology in, it, uh, in Italy, W. W. Norton and Company, New York, and uh, uh, originally came out in 1960. This is a 1983 edition. He had also. I don't have the dust jacket. Tell me. I thought. He did one. Uh, he did one on Greece. I think it was called the Greek Stone Speak. So, if you're into archaeology, these were great. They're a little more than in depth than your standard uh, general history, uh, but they're still general histories. I mean, in this case, archaeology focused. But absolutely wonderful. I don't have the other volumes, but this this Roman one is nice. I don't think I've seen one in years. Then I have uh, Robert Fagel's uh, translation of Virgil's The Aeneid. Uh, and again with an introduction by Bernard Knox, which can never go wrong with that. A little bit of glare. I enjoyed this one. Um, Viking is the publisher. And this is uh, 2006. I have a picture of Robert Fagel's there. Good, uh, good copy there. And here is Ovid, uh, Indiana University Press version of The Art of Love, translated by Rolf Humphreys, an original Midland book. Beautiful cover. I love the cover on this for some reason. I have no idea why. Uh, Indiana University Press, Bloomington, and it's from 1957 originally, and this looks like it's uh, like the 21st printing, so it's, this is way later than 1957. So it includes the, uh, the Loves, the Art of Beauty, and Remedies for Love. And, uh, so there you have that. The near. Loeb Classical Library, Seneca's Eight, uh, this is the first of the tragedies, translated by Frank Justice Miller. So you'll see the green volumes uh, uh, for Greek and the uh, red for Roman when you see, when you see them with their, uh, with, their coat, with their dust jackets. So Ga Cambridge University, Harvard, uh, University Press, and then in London it's William Heinemann Limited. Uh, 
editorial notes from 79, so that's when this is. And you'll notice that there, on one side there's a translation, one side there's the original. An original text. So, um, you could collect these for things for a lifetime, I mean, and they're wonderful. Uh, they're uneven quality. Some are better than others. Then here's Suetonius, The Lives of the Twelve Caesar. Old copy. Um, translated by Fulhamon Holland. Revised for the president, uh, present edition with an introduction by Moses Hadas and illustrated with the paintings by Salvatore Fiumi, Heritage Press, New York. I love these old Heritage Press. I always kick myself that I didn't pick them up when you could get them for nothing. Well, not nothing, but they were everywhere. Now they get a premium. This is 1965. Uh, I'll give you an idea of who has an introduction. Let's see table of contents. I'll read to you who. We'll go straight into the introduction. Okay. So Gaius Julius Caesar, Octavius Caesar Augustus, Tiberius Nero Caesar, Gaius Caesar Caligula, Tiberius Claudius Drusus Caesar, Nero Claudius Caesar, Servius Sulpicius Galba, Marcus Salvius Otho, Aelius Vitellius, Flavius Vespasianus Augustus, Vespasian, Titus Flavius Vespasianus Augustus, and Flavius Dominicus, Domitian. A chronological table of the Twelve Caesars and Glossy. So uh, the one thing about these is the artwork in it. Like Heritage Press, I, I just love them. I love the size. Paper is pretty neat. So, you know, good solid thing to sit down and read. And then the last two here go together. Uh, Cambridge Ancient Histories, I have volume uh, 11 and 12. 11 is the Imperial Peace to 7, uh, so it's AD 70 to 192. And then the uh, volume 12 is the Imperial Crisis and Recovery, AD 193 to 324. And I had purchased these two um, for a project I was working on. So I don't have the entire Cambridge Ancient History. I would love to. Uh, so the old price tag, where did I get this? Well, it says thank you. So I paid $11 to get the both of them. Uh, and they originally came from Marion, Massachusetts or something. It's not where I got them. So 1965, uh, edited by S.A. Cook, F.E. Adcock, and M.P. Charlesworth. It's a third impression. Um, so the nice things, I'm going to try to do this without ripping it. It would break my heart if I ripped it trying to show it. There's a map. You got all these fold outs all throughout. Another one, I'll just show you that they're, in, they're folding in there. Sometimes they do a, get a little bit of color to them, not much. That'd be crazy here. And then the other volume. They got they each have a little medallion on the front of them too. This is gonna be gigantic. Right there. The Army of the Imperial House, the Ascension of Septimian Severus. I mean, the maps are constant. I mean, you just keep going and. The development of paganism in the Roman Empire, right before it's another map. So they, these things are quite fun. So that ends uh, section seven, shelf four, bookcase number four, big wall bookcase. Thank you, book two.